Hi everyone and welcome to our inside cabin tour of cabin 14133 on board MSC Seaside. You can access your room by either using your keycard or one of the MSC for me bracelets. This cabin is on deck 14, midship, on the port side. As you can see, the cabin is very tastefully decorated. It's modern looking and spacious for an inside cabin. Our initial impressions are that it's both inviting and comfortable. So let's take a look at all the cabin's features. On entering our cabin, here on the bed the steward has placed our daily programme. This is handy for finding out what's going on on board the ship. As it's embarkation day, there's lots of special offers and discounts advertised today. Over here we have our two pool towels. Your steward will replace these daily, or you can get them changed at the towel stations. Just make sure when you leave your cabin on the final day that both towels are left, otherwise you will be charged for them. On either side of the bed, as you can see, there's two bedside lights. These both feature a handy reading light, which can be adjusted just like so. On this side, there's just a switch, but on the other side of the bed, there's also a USB charging port which is very handy given how many gizmos and gadgets we have these days. You'll also find two handy bedside storage units. Although these do not have drawers, they're still very useful. So now we've explored the bed area, we're now going to turn back on ourselves and take a more in-depth look at the living area. When you come into the room, you need to put your key card in here and that activates the power. Uh, you've got your light switch there and just up here you've got your do not disturb and make up room signs. There's also some handy coat hooks here as well, um, just behind us. And then um, as we come in now, we've got the temperature control. So we always put it down like really cold and it's boiling hot outside. We're currently in Miami at the moment. It's lovely and toasty. Um, just here, you've got your desk. On the vanity desk here, we have the phone. And just over there, there's a bowl of fruit. Whether or not you'll get one depends on your loyalty status. The cabin features plenty of power outlets. We have many variants here such as two European sockets, two American sockets and two USB charging ports, one of them being a high powered one. Next to the power sockets, there's a switch to light up the mirror on the wall above the desk, which as you can see is a decent size. In the cupboard beneath the desk, you'll find a fridge. This is stocked up as a mini bar. These items incur an additional charge, so check your in-cabin beverage menu for further details. There's also a handy stool come side table under the desk, as well as a bin, and in the drawer you'll find the hairdryer, which we found to be powerful enough. So I guess that's one less thing to pack. Next up we have a handy wall mounted flat screen TV, which can be adjusted so it's visible anywhere within the main cabin, including from the bed. On the wall opposite the vanity desk, there's a full length mirror which not only has a practical purpose, but it also gives an illusion of more space. As you can see, there's also a small comfy chair in the corner. Next we're going to take a look at the wardrobe come storage area. To begin, we have some storage shelves. The safe is a fair size, large enough for jewellery, passports, wallets, purses, mobile phones, but not big enough for say laptops or large tablet devices. Below the safe we have three additional shelves, and below these there are two decently sized drawers. Opening these sliding doors, here we have some clothes rails. There's some hangers included for your convenience and there's also a laundry bag here should you wish to take advantage of the laundry services on board. These services do incur an additional cost. Having explored the cabin's living area, we're now going to move on to the ensuite shower room. As you can see, it's a very modern looking shower room and very well lit too. To begin, on the left hand side we have some towel rails. Hand towels are provided and directly ahead of us there's a large wall mirror. Just to the right, there's some handy shelves for your toiletries. Below we have two toothbrush holders, a soap dispenser and finally the sink. Beneath the sink, in the cupboard you'll find some additional storage space and the bin. Tucked in the corner just underneath the toiletry shelves, you'll find a two pin shaver socket. This does not fit UK shavers, so you will need to bring a travel adapter with you. Bath towels are also provided, these are stored on shelves found just above the toilet. Moving on to the shower itself, we're pleased to say the shower is quite roomy. There's plenty of space in here and not a clingy curtain in sight. Toiletries such as shower gel and shampoo are provided. We have to say, they smell great. Up the top here on the right hand side, we also have a retractable clothes area, handy for drying any new swimwear you might have. This concludes our cabin tour. Overall, we had a comfortable stay on board MSC Seaside. We found this cabin to be stylish, practical and economical, and we wouldn't hesitate staying in this cabin again. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it really useful. If you did, please give the video a like, and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks, Thanks for watching! watching.